16 digestion and absorption food is the one of the basic requirement of all living organism the major component of food are carbohydrates protein vitamin and fats vitamin and mineral are also required in small quantities food provides energy and organic material for growth and repair of tissues the water we take in plays an important role in metabolic processes and also prevent dehydration of the body Biomacromolecules in food cannot be utilized by the body in their original form. They have to be broken down and converted into sim simple substances in the digestive system. This process of conversion of complex, uh, complex food substances to simple absorbable form is called as digestion and is carried out by digestive system by mechanical and biochemical methods. General organization of human digestive system is shown in figure 16.1. Digestive system. The human digestive system consists of alimentary canal and the associated glands. First, alimentary canal. The alimentary canal begins with an anterior opening, the mouth, and it opens up posteriorly through the anus. The mouth leads into the buccal cavity or the oral cavity. The oral cavity has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue. Each tooth is embedded in the socket of jaw bone. This type of attachment is called as thicodent. Majority of mammals, including human beings, forms have two sets of teeth during their life. A set of temporary milk or deciduous teeth replaced by a set of permanent or adult teeth. This type of dentition is called as diphodont. An adult human has 32 permanent teeth, which are of four types. Heterodont dentition, namely incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Arrangement of teeth in each half of the upper and lower jaw in an order I, C, P, M, M is represented by a dental formula, which in human is 2123 by 2123. The hard chewing surface of the teeth made up of enamel helps in mastication of food. The tongue is freely movable muscular organ attached to the floor of the oral cavity by frenulum and the upper surface of the tongue has small projection called papillae some of which bear taste bud the oral cavity lead into short pharynx which serve as a com common passage for food and air esophagus and the trachea windpipe open into the pharynx a cartilage cartilaginous flap called epiglottis prevent the entry of food into the glottis Opening of the windpipe during the swallowing. The esophagus is a thin, long tube which, ex um, which extends posteriorly, passing through the neck, thorax, diaphragm, and leads to G shaped bag like structure called a stomach. A muscular sphincter, gastroesophageal uh, sphincter, regulates the opening of esophagus into the stomach. The stomach, located in the upper left post portion of the abdominal cavity, has three major parts. A cardiac portion into which esophagus opens, a fundic region, and a pyloric portion which opens into the first part of small intestine. Small intestine is dis uh, distinguishable into three regions a U shaped duodenum, a long coiled middle portion called jejunum, and a highly coiled ileum. The opening of the stomach into the duodenum is guarded by the pyloric sphincter. Ilium opens into large intestine. It consists of cecum, colon, and rectum. Cecum is small blind sac which holds some symbiotic microorganism. A narrow finger-like tub uh, tubular projection. The vermi form appendix, appendix, which is vestigial organ, arises from the cecum. The cecum opens into the colon. The colon is divided into three parts: an ascending, a transfer, and a descending part. The ascend, the descending part open into the rectum which opens out through the anus. The wall of alimentary canal from esophagus to rectum possesses four layers namely serosa, muscularis, some mucosa and mucosa. Serosa is the outermost layer and is made up of thin layer of mesothelium, epithelium of visceral organ with some connective tissue. Muscularis is formed by smooth muscle usually arranged into inner circular and outer longitudinal layer. An oblique muscular layer may be present in some region. The submucosal uh, layer is formed by loose connective tissue containing nerves, blood, and lymph vessel.
In geogenum, glands are also present in submucosa. The innermost layer lining the human of the alimentary canal is the mucosa. This layer forms irregular folds in the stomach and small finger-like foldings called villi. In the small intestine, the cells line Lining the villi produce numeric, numerous microscopic projections called microvilli, giving a brush border appearance. This mi modification increases the surface in area enormously. Villi are supplied with a network of capillaries and large lymph vessels called lacteal. Mucosal epithelium. Epithelium has goblet cells which secrete mucus that help in lubrication. Mucosa also forms glands in the stomach, gastric glands, and crypts in between the bases of villi in the intestine. All the four layers show modification in different parts of the alimentary canal. Digestive gland. The digestive gland associated with the alimentary canal include the salivary glands, the liver, the pancreas. Saliva is mainly produced by three pairs of salivary glands, the parotids, which is present in chick, the submaxillary, submandibular, submaxillary, which is also called as submandibular, that is lower jaw, and sublingual, below the tongue. This glands situated out, uh, just outside the buccal cavity secret salivary juice into the buccal cavity. Liver is the largest gland of the body, weighing about 1 to 1.2 to 1.5 kg in the an adult human. It is situated in the abdominal cavity, just below the diaphragm, and has two lobules. The hepatic lobules are the structural and functional unit of the liver, containing hepatic cells arranged in the form of cords. Each lobule is covered by thin layer of connective tissue, sheep called as Glissons cap, uh, capsule. The bile sec uh, secreted by the hepatic cells passes through the hepatic ducts and is stored and concentrated in a thin muscular sac called as gallbladder. The duct of gallbladder, cystic duct, along with the hepatic duct, form the liver. Uh, from the liver, forms the common bile duct. The bile duct and the pancreatic duct open together into the duodenum as the common hepatopancreatic duct, which is guarded by the sphincter called as sphincter of Audi. The pancreas is a compound both endocrine and exocrine elongated organ situated below the limbs uh, between the limbs of U-shaped duodenum. The exocrine portion secretes an alkali alkaline pancreatic juice containing enzymes and endocrine portion secrete hormones, insulin and glucagon. Digestion of food. The process of digestion is in, accomplished by mechanical and chemical processes. The um, buccal cavity performs two major functions, mastication of food and facilitating, uh, facilitation of swallowing. The teeth and the tongue with the help of saliva masticate and mix the food thoroughly. Mucus in saliva helps in lubricating and adhering the masticate masticated food particles into a bolus. The, bo the bolus is then conveyed into the pharynx and then into the esoph uh, esophagus by swallowing or deglutition. The bolus further passes down through the esophagus by successive waves of muscular con contraction called as peristalsis. The gastroesophageal sphincter controls the passage of food into the stomach. The saliva secreted in the oral cavity contains electrolytes like Na+, K+, Cl-, HCO-, and enzyme salivary amylase and lysosomes. The chemical process of digestion is initiated in the oral cavity by hydrolytic action of the carbohydrate splitting enzyme, the salivary amylase. About 30% of starch is hydrolyzed here in the enzyme. Optimum pH 6.8 into disaccharide maltose. Lysosomes present in the saliva acts as an antibacterial agent that prevents infection. Starch, with the help of salivary amylase and the pH 6.8, converts, mal converts into maltose. The mucosa of the stomach has gastric glands. Gastric glands have three major types of cells, namely mucus neck cells which secrete mucus, peptic, uh, peptic or chief cells which secrete the Proenzyme, pepsinogen, and parietal or oxygenic cells, oxygenic cells, which secrete HCl and 
intrinsic factor this factor is essential for absorption of vit uh, vitamin b12 the stomach stores the food for 4 to 5 hours the food is mixed thoroughly by with the acidic gastric juice of the stomach by the churning movement of its muscular wall and its colle sky the proenzyme pepsinogen on the exposure to hydrochloric acid gets converted into active enzyme pepsin the proteolytic enzyme of the stomach pepsin converts protein into proteoses and peptones that is peptides the mucus and the bicarbonate present in the gastric juice play important role in lubrication and protection of mucosal epithelium from the exoriation by the highly concentrated uh, concentrated uh, hydrochloric acid hcl provide the acidic ph ph 1.8 opti um, optimal for pepsin renin is a proteolytic enzyme found in the gastric juice of infants which helps in the digestion of milk protein small amounts of lipases are also secreted by the gastric glands various type of movements are generated by the muscular layer of the small intestine these movements help in the thorough mis mixing up of the food with various secretion in the intestinal and thereby facilitated digestion the bile pancreatic juice and the intestinal juice are the secretion released into the small intestine pancreatic juice and the bile are released through the hepatopancreatic duct the pancreatic juice contains inactive enzymes trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen procarboxypeptidase amylase lipase and nucleases trypsinogen is activated by an enzyme enterokinase secreted by the intestinal mucosa into the active try trypsin which in turn activates the other enzyme in the pancreatic juice the bile released into the duodenum contains bile pigment bilirubin and biliverdin bile soils cholesterol and phospholipids but no enzyme bile helps in emulsification of fats that is breaking down of fats into very small micelles uh, bile also activates lipase the intestinal mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secrete muco uh, mucus the secretion of the brush border cells of the mucus are along with the secretion of the go um, goblet cells constitute the intestinal juice or the sucus um, enterocus the juice contains a variety of enzyme like disaccharide maltase dipeptides lipase nucleoside etc the mucus along with the bicarbonate from the pancreatic uh, from the pancreas protect the intestinal mucosa with the uh, from the acid as well as provide an alkaline medium ph uh, 7.8 for enzymatic activities some mucosal uh, glands brunner's gland also help in this proteins proteoses and peptones partially hydrolyzed proteins in the chyme reaching the intestine are acted upon by the proteolytic enzyme of pancreatic juice as given below proteins peptones plus proteoses give acted upon by trypsin chymotrypsin or procarboxypeptidase or carboxypeptidase uh, gives out dipeptides carbohydrates in the chyme are carb chyme are hydrolyzed by the pancreatic amylase into disaccharide polysaccharide starch in the presence of amylase convert into disaccharides fats are broken down by lipase with the help of bile into di and monoglyceride fats in the presence of lipase convert into diglyceride and then into monoglyceride nucleases in the pancreatic juice acts on the nucleic acid to form nucleotides and nucleosides nucleic acid con uh, in the presence of nucleases converts into nucleotides and then into nucleo sides the enzyme in the su uh, sucus enterococcus acts on the end product of the above reaction to form respective simple absor uh, absorbable forms this uh, final step in digestion occur very close to the mucosal epithelium uh, cells of the intestine that is dipeptides in the presence of dipeptides converts into amino acid maltose in the presence of maltase convert into glucose plus glucose lactose in the presence of lactase convert into glucose plus galactose sucrose in the presence of sucrase convert into glucose plus fructose nucleotides in the presence of nucleotides convert into nucleosides and, and nucleoside in the presence of nucleosides convert into sugar plus bases di and monoglyceride in the uh, in the presence of lipase convert into fatty acid plus glycerol the breakdown of bi uh, biomicromolecule mention above occur in the duodenum region of the small intestine the simple substances thus formed are absorbed by jejunum and ileum region of the small intestine the undigested 
and unabsorbed substances are passed onto the large intestine. No significant digestive uh, activity occurs in the large intestine. The function of the large intestine are absorption of some water, mineral, and certain drugs, secretion of mucus, which help in the othering the waste, uh, undigested particles together, and lubricating it for the uh, easy passage. Passage. Uh, the undigested, unabsorbed substances are called as feces. Enters into the cecum of the large intestine through the ileocecal valve, which prevents the backflow of the uh, fecal matter. It is temporarily stored in the rectum till defecation. The activity of gastrointestinal tract are under neural and hormonal control for proper coordination of different parts. The site smell or the presence of food in the oral cavity can stimulate the secretion of the saliva. Gastric and intestinal secretion are also similarly stimulated by neurosignals. The muscular activities of different parts of the alimentary canal can also be moderated by neural mechanism both local and through C- uh, uh, CNS hormone. Hormonal control of the secretion of the digestive juices is carried out by the local hormones produced by the gastric and intestinal mucosa. Absorption of digested products Absorption is the process by which the end products of the digestion passes through the intestinal mucosa into the blood or lift. It is carried out by passive or active or facility transport mechanism. Small amount of monosaccharide like glucose, amino acids and some electrolytes like chloride ions are generally absorbed by simple diffusion. The passage of these substances into the blood depends upon the concentration gradient. However, some of uh, the substances like fructose and some amino acids are absorbed with the help of the carrier like an Na+. The mechanism is called as facilitated transport. Transport of water depends upon the osmotic gradient. Active transport occurs against the concentration ga- uh, gradient and hence requires energy. Various nutrients like amino acids, monosaccharide like glucose, electrolytes like Na+ are absorbed into the blood by this mechanism. Fatty acids and glycerol are being dis- insoluble cannot be absorbed into the blood. They are first incorporated into small droplets called micelles which move into small in- uh, into the intestinal mucosa. They are reformed into very small protein coated flat, glo- uh, flat globules called as chymo- chylomicrons, which are transported into the lymph vessels, lectures in the villi. Thus, lymph uh, vessels ultimately release the absorbed substance into the bloodstream. Absorption of substances takes place in the different part of the alimentary canal like mouth, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. However, maximum absorption occurs in the small intestine. A summary of the absorption site of absorption and substance absorbed are given in table 16.1. Mouth Certain drugs coming into contact with the mucosa and uh, mucosa of mouth and lower side of the tongue are absorbed into the blood capillaries lining them. Stomach absorption of water, simple sugars and alcohol, etc. takes place. Small intestine, principal organ for absorption of nutrients. The di- uh, digestion is completed here, and the final products of digestion, such as glucose, fructose, fatty acids, glycerol, and amino acids, are absorbed through the mucosa into the blood stream and lymph. Large intestine absorption of water, some minerals and drugs take place. The Absorbed substances finally reach the tissue which utilizes them for their activities. This process is called as assimilation. The digestive waste solidified into coherent feces in the rectum initiate a neural reflex causing an urge to desire urge or desire for its removal. The ejection of feces to the outside through the anal opening defecation is a voluntary process and is carried out by a mass parasite. Uh, peristaltic movement the, uh, disorders of the digestive system the infl- uh, inflammation of the intestinal tract is the most common element due to bacterial or viral infection the infections are also caused by the parasites of the intestine like tapeworm round worm thread worm hook worm thin worm etc jaundice the liver is affected skin and eyes turn yellow due to the deposit of bile pigment that is bilirubin and bilirubin. Vomiting. It is the ejection of the stomach contained through the mouth. This reflex uh, reaction is con- uh, controlled by the vomit center in the medulla. A feeling of nausea precedes vomiting. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. The abnormal frequency of bowel movement and in- 
increased liquidity of the faecal discharge is called as diarrhea it is, reduces the absorption of food absorption of food constipation in constipation the feces are retained within the rectum as the bowel movement occur irregularly in digestion in this condition the food is not properly digested leading to the feeling of fullness the causes of indigestion are inadequate enzyme secretion anxiety food poisoning overeating and spicy food number 16 digestion and absorption food is the one of the basic requirement